Oh, that felt good. <laughs> First night, first night. <laughs> oh, man. How's that feel? Oh, he's trying to really loosen it up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one felt good. Oh, <laughs> you heard that? <laughs> oh, my lord. We'll check and make sure that we can still walk <laughs> before he leaves. <laughs> Kind of right here, right? Yeah, and a little bit underneath right over here. Up underneath here? Yeah. yeah. So if you notice on my nice picture here, mm -hmm. the joints, irritation injury to the joints of the neck, specifically the lower neck, can give you pain and symptoms all around that, that scapula. Okay. So what happens is when you're working at a computer, more likely, because I looked at you when you were just sitting there from on the side, when you were sitting, the head yeah. is angled forward and then driving in a car, many times the seats in the car are designed to cocoon us mm -hmm. so that we don't have a big whiplash. The problem is I feel like Quasimodo is designing these seats because they got us all the shoulders curled forward mm -hmm. to reduce whiplash. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. But the vehicle uh, can be a contributing force along with and then when you're sitting at work, the position of your head. So what we're going to do pretty simply, we're going to go through your neck, work on the upper neck, work on the upper back, try to take some of the stress off your lower neck and the alignment, so look straight forward. You're fine. So I'm going to come over here, Carl, and see if you can just look straight. You're fine. You're perfect. Just look straight forward for me. Yeah, so we're dealing with about an inch, two inches, his head's forward. So we got to get the chest in. Go ahead and turn towards me. Your left shoulder's a little low. You know, part of what's going on is you love tilting your head to the right. Mm -hmm. So you have, a, you have a right head tilt, and then what's happening is your left shoulder's going down to, I suspect, an injury on the left side of your neck that's causing your head to want to get away from it. Maybe because, like I said, you're probably irritating the joints on the left. That's what's causing that scapula pain. And so your body is com compensating and trying to, does that make sense, get away from it. And it's still hurting even though you're in avoidance. Mm -hmm. One of the worst things you can do would be in the hot shower, chin down, <laughs> with heat hitting your lower neck. Okay. Let's not do that one. Okay. As much as it, heat blocks pain, mm -hmm. but heat will inflame the joint. It'll feel good while you're in the hot shower. Do you do that? Or? No, I'm actually doing cold showers lately. Okay. <laughs> you know, you can take a hot shower, but just don't be standing with heat hitting your lower neck. Just okay. let the water hit the side of the front of you. But the, um, mainly the joints are made of, they have a capsule, fluid capsule, like, you know, so if I, if I punch a wall with my knuckles and then put heat on it, my joint will swell. Okay. That's what's going to further aggravate that symptom to your shoulder blade. Okay. Is there anything else going on? Any other symptoms? I mean, I have a, a little shoulder. Sometimes it, I don't know if you can hear it, but... Gotcha. But that, I think that has to do with like when I played football in high school. Right. When I'm when I'm looking at you, the shoulders rounded forward. So we're gonna we're gonna work on bringing your shoulder back. Okay. Part of what's happened is as your shoulder goes forward, the tendons are held taut like cables, and then it's easy to gotcha. pluck the cables. When the shoulder part of that is the driving, and that's part of the whole complex of your neck and shoulders. Bringing the shoulder back will bring some laxity to the cables and they're not as easily plucked. Cross this arm under, this arm over. You're going to take one deep breath in for me. Okay. And then lay your head back for me. Let the jaw relax and just exhale. Deep breath <laughs> in for me. And then exhale. No sound, just exhale. Deep breath in. Exhale. Very good. So the top two, you tell, <laughs> reluctant. Yeah. yeah. The first one was like, sure, I'll move. <laughs> yeah. The next two. And so we're going to, part of that is you're too young to have any reluctance in there. Yeah. I expect perfection in you. And so we want a fluidity just like that first one in yeah. the other two. If this area is real tight. It's part of the reason why your lower neck is overworking. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Yeah. The upper back being tight makes the areas around do extra work. Okay. And put your, turn your head towards me. Okay. There we go. We're perfect. You're just going to stretch. I got you. You're fine. Breathe. Exhale. Stretch. There you go. There you go. There we go. Breathe. Exhale. Stretch. Exhale. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. How's that for me? Good. Huh? Breathe. Exhale. Good. Exhale for me. That's good. Good. Face that for me. Let me see what's going on here.
actually have a big lump here on the right side. <laughs> it's about as obvious as can be. I did get an x-ray because it, st it started out of nowhere, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is, this is a big feel that bump right there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty large. Let me see if I can work on that. And then adjust this guy first. Real gentle. Here we go. Here we go. Let me have his head. Oh, I feel good. <laughs> first night, first night. Yay! <laughs> oh, but I can fall asleep after that. You did good, you did good. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the, uh, no, not the, the lump or anything like that, but I felt like a burning sensation on my neck. Mm -hmm. And so I was telling my wife, and she works for an orthopedic surgeon. Right. So they, uh, they took an x-ray, and there's some type of, like, curvature, like a... Reversed. Yeah. Yeah. What, at your age, what mainly is the alignment shifts, and then if you stay in that wrong alignment, it will then cause what's called a disease. I don't agree with the terminology of calling a bone growing a disease, but certain bones will overstress mm -hmm. if you stay in a reverse curve situation. And then when those bones are overstressed, they grow just like a muscle when it's overstressed and your alignment determines where the stresses are. The burning is from the joint. Mm -hmm. What you're feeling is lactic acid mm -hmm. inside the joint capsule. The lactic acid is formed from the muscles. The muscles are working harder because there's no curve in your neck. Does that okay. make sense? Yeah. So the, uh, the alignment that your, that your neck is in, neck to shoulder, causes muscular tension. The muscles being tighter than they're supposed to be produces a lot of lactic acid. The lactic acid irritates the nerve endings in the joint capsule, mm -hmm. which gives you that burning sensation. And that's what it is. So the, we have to, in order to address that, we have to first, if you wanna get the symptom gone, we clean out the neck. Mm -hmm. But if we just adjust and massage, it'll temporarily remove the lactic acid, mm. but long term, it'll just rebuild up again if we don't, does that make sense, get the yeah. arch back to your spine. So the position that you're in makes it easy for those joints to be irritated. Okay. So it's a postural problem at its core, but symptomatically, we can make you feel better by, we'll gua sha in a minute, that comb, and we'll, just even getting the joints moving helps to create a washing effect, the mobility, washes out the joint. I, yeah. So I started getting like massage therapy every uh, two weeks. Uh -huh. And uh, it would feel good after, like, I mean, the first session, I mean, it, <laughs> that back, that muscle was really tight. Yes. And uh, it kind of like, when she put her finger on there, it, it hurt. Mm -hmm. um, but over time, it kind of like loosened up a little bit. Mm. But then I noticed like, as soon as I would go to like to the gym or after playing basketball or whatever mm -hmm. the case is, I, I would feel tightness again. Right, so the, the alignment that, you, that you're in creates the reoccurrence of that tightness. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If, if the ear was over your shoulder, the ability for things to get tight would be a lot less. But if you go do exercises in a bad alignment, that amplifies the stress. Okay. Uh, so, you know, Driving a car across the country is going to put some level of stress on your car and the tires. But then driving another car with a bad alignment across the country, it's going to be amplified. Mm. Because the alignment that you're in determines how evenly the forces are spread over the entire body. Okay. Okay. Was there a plan to fix that bad boy? Was No, they, they were like, the, the, uh, the, they said that the disc looked pretty good. Oh. Um, on x-ray? Okay. On x-ray and all that stuff looked pretty good. But... Um, that if I had more pain, they can give me some pain medication. So I was like, no. <laughs> sure. So you can have a swollen. The issue with giving analysis of disc on x ray is because at your age, a disc that's swollen mm -hmm. will look really good on x ray. Even though I've had people with have at your age, we get an x ray and then we get an MRI the same week, and the MRI shows a bulging disc. I don't think you have a bulging disc. My point is that it will lead to a bulging disc in your lower neck. You have more arm symptoms. Does it make sense mm -hmm. if we had a bulging disc? But my point is that you miss that. You really shouldn't be giving an assessment of a disc on x-ray. Okay. You, can, you can say that the bones are lined up. You can talk about the anatomy, the alignment, the curve. But, you know, it's, it's, I think there was a commercial I've seen on television. You know, what good is it to tell a person they have a problem if you can't fix it? Hmm. Oh, your roof's leaking. Oh, look at all that water coming in. <laughs> what do I do about it? I have no idea. You know, it's like, yeah. well, you just told me I have no curve in my neck. And, yeah, you're, well, we don't do anything about that. It's bad, but yeah, good luck. No, for sure. <laughs> it's a, that little click, that little click there? It yeah. actually has a little bit of a click to it. There's a lump on the right, but there's actually a tear on the left here. 
Because when I'm looking that's at your, show, I think that's from football. Or at least I don't know. Tell me. I uh, when I when I was playing football back in high school, I uh, my shoulder was kind of like, like I guess I went for a tackle and then yeah. kind of separated a little bit, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the coach um, pushed it back in. Yeah. The glenohumeral joint. The, there's ligaments that are supposed to not allow that. <laughs> Those ligaments get torn. The, right. mm -hmm. And then all I had to do was like some baseball workouts for our, for a year or two, and then it restrengthen that ligament. Yeah, and it finally uh, stopped popping in and out after a while. Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> the issue over time, like your skin heals with different material, mm -hmm. right? We call it scar tissue, right? the ligament heals with a scar also. So the amount of force that it took to tear it in the first place will be less to tear it again. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? No, yeah, because sure. there isn't, now hopefully we're, we're done playing, fo your football career is over no, yeah, and no, so we're good. Okay. So we're not going to worry about I was colliding done, with... I was done after that. I was like, I'm not doing this <laughs> no more. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I mean, if you, you might, you know, find that if something happens in the future to that shoulder, Ed, I didn't really do much and it popped out. That's part of why there's clicking is your body's had an injury to that right shoulder and then your body's trying to mm -hmm. find it. Compensate. A, compensate. You got it. You got it. <laughs> and that's what, this is what's causing the head tilt is right here that your body's going to want to avoid any area that's inflamed and then compensating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This one's just, that's just a lump. There's just a lump on there right side, but right there. Wow. That is tight. So the more tight the right. <laughs> Punch it. <laughs> No, it's just, no, I'm saying because uh, when yes. you touch it's like sore, I don't know. Yeah, no, there's injury. There's going to be, like I said, you've had your shoulder dislocated and then it, you know, somebody mm -hmm. pops it back in, but there's going to be scar tissue in here. We're going to see it in a second when we wash out anything that's been trapped in here. Makes me want to go to sleep, man. Oh, good. Yeah, go to bed. Yeah, right here and snoring all night. Like, How oh, quickly it's going to come up. It's like packing material. Your body originally was made of cement, and we healed with this spray packing foam. <laughs> it's not nearly as powerful or as stable or as functional as the original material. And over time, your body remodels it and starts to blend in some more concrete back into the original strength of the tissue, but the disparity between the original stuff and the scar tissue is obvious. It's, mm. And this is, when you see your shoulder in the mirror later, you'll see this is from injury. And then we want the shoulder to heal in the right position, and that's part of what's happened is your shoulder healed in avoidance. Okay, let's feel it for a second. How many years did you play football? What position? Oh, man, I played for like one or two years. <laughs> okay. Uh, I played a linebacker and then uh, a little bit of cornerback. Okay, okay, got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. So defense, right? That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was a, it was just my freshman and sophomore year. I got gotcha. you. The issue is that it's in your formative years. Your mm -hmm. body's growing. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. 26 is full skeletal maturity. So an injury after 26 will change your body slower. Does okay. that make sense? Mm -hmm. For better or for worse. It's harder to change anything once the concrete's hardened. It was just two years, Ed. Yeah, but it was when you were super soft. <laughs> and so the, the metal, the clay was soft and it got misshapen. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't require much when everything is soft. And you know, we're, we're near the end of it because you're 26, right? How old are you? Uh, I'm 29. 29, okay. So we're three years post, yeah. you know, full skeletal maturity. And so it's it becomes incrementally more difficult into your 30s, 40s, you know, to change anything. It, not not impossible, but it just you have to work harder. Teenagers, I can get them fixed in five visits, six <laughs> visits. I mean, it's super simple. To... Right here, I don't like this lump right here. Is a knot right here? Yeah, that feels good. <laughs> yeah. 
good with quotes around it, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, right there. I want that. I know that I think the rib thing a collision. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. To be yeah, I'm just well. It's like dents and dings. I'm looking. At, I'm running my hand over a car door <laughs> panel. Does that make sense? No, and I'm sure. feeling the imperfections and the dents. And I'm like, well, somebody kicked that. <laughs> somebody ran a bicycle into that. You know, there's not supposed to be. There's no normal dents. Hmm. Your work that we were talking about earlier, you know, has put you. You know, life is inundated with. I sit at, I sit at a desk, yeah. I sit in a car, and so now your body's hardening in the wrong position, and then that creates mechanical stresses in certain areas. There we go. So we got to re-soften you, and then we're going to show you how to mold and get the curves back to your back. And very good. Oh yeah, that feels good. It feels good and it hurts at the same time. It's the weirdest thing. Breathe, breathe, let it go. Come on. No hold, no breath holding, cheater. Um, <laughs> I'll hold my breath and he won't notice. I noticed. I always like that scene in Iron Man. You know, that guy's playing Galaga. Galaga, or is Galaga? That guy's playing Galaga. He thought no one would notice, but it did. <laughs> uh, my dad used to tell me as a kid, I, uh, like he would take for like Halloween Horror Nights or something yes. like that. Uh, he took me to like a haunted house, and uh, I was probably like five or oh my gosh. four years old. And uh, we go in there. I don't scream, no nothing. My dad comes out and he's like, "Wow, you you, you know you held up pretty good." He's right. like, "What did you do?" And I'm like, "I just closed my eyes." Right, the whole, <laughs> I didn't my, look at the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't see nothing. It's pretty easy. It's a Three Stooges thing, you know. I can't see. I can't see. He's like, "Open your eyes." Oh, there you go. <laughs> I know. I know. I gotta get all that. Compressed and down. Wow, I mean that's a lot hidden underneath there. Oh yeah, that feels great. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. <laughs> I didn't oh, expect boy. that at all, man. Oh, oh boy. I'll get you head for making fun of me. <laughs> Don't you? Okay. Oh man, that feels. Mm -hmm. I can feel it popping. Too. This is the area that maybe one or two bones moved up here, and so by coercing this area and softening it up, we're going to try to adjust you again in a minute. And we'll see if we can get some more out of here. Okay. It's that guarding protection that's been in here from your posture. <laughs> oh, Lord. Cellular exhaust. It's a 
the muscles are tighter because your posture is not correct, which then makes a lot of the symptoms build up in this area. Getting the shoulder back, processing those neck, processing those neck, neck injuries that are in there and getting your body not needing to avoid them. It just, I mean, it popped out of nowhere because I was li living just fine. <laughs> right? I was just fine. I was just fine. And then, like, Boom. three months ago, I was like, wow, my neck is hurting. Yeah. It was like, it, it wasn't even, it was a weird, it was like a burning sensation. It wasn't pain. Yeah. That's joint. Yeah, that's the joints saying, hey, hey, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing up there? Giving me more work than I'm supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. Not very happy about this. It was weird because I stopped working because of the whole COVID thing. Right. I stopped working out during that time frame. And yeah. that's when all the problems started coming right. up. Right. We stopped moving. We sit more. Right. We become more sedentary. Sure. Driving more or, 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 or just sitting at home. Yeah. So my mom, she does. She has the same issue. Yeah. Um, but she started doing dry needling as well, mm -hmm. on top of going to the chiropractor mm -hmm. and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, she said that helps Good. with very yeah. well too. Yeah, yeah, blood flow. Yeah. Oxygen is needed to go in here to release the acidity, mm. bind to it. Now, ultimately, the buildup is postural. So it's like giving a person a fish makes them happy <laughs> yeah. for a day, but yeah. teach them how to fish so they can take care of themselves. So that's my eventual goal is to guide you in how do I prevent this from just re Keep happening, assessing. Yeah, yeah it's a, and that's where yeah. the lifestyle things we talked about. I'm going to teach you in a minute about different ways to sit. Just at the end of the day, things you can do to help counter stretch you know, and, and teach you how to brush your own teeth essentially so that you can, we're just, there's almost zero spinal Guidance, mm. healthcare in America. It's all reactive. Yeah, no, good. Wait till it becomes critical. It doesn't feel like I'm filleting you, right? You no, know? no, it feels great. Yeah. Wow. So when I barely touch an area and it gets dark after one swipe, <laughs> I know there's a lot there. Yeah. <laughs> I like barely breathed <laughs> on it and all this dust and. <laughs> okay. He hasn't vacuumed over here in a while. Yeah, I, I literally just. I mean, I, I have a bad habit of not stretching, mm -hmm. but I've been like the last maybe couple weeks mm -hmm. i've been doing more mm -hmm. a little bit more stretching <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, i see that <laughs> no no <laughs> i know i see it <laughs> i've never been able to hide anything from my car mechanic and nor can you hide anything from me oh out. yeah your car mechanic will make sure he finds it he everything <laughs> That car on a lift, and he starts inspecting with a flashlight. Oh, look, you got an oil leak. You got a bearing here that's leaking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, fine. Brake pads are a little low. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right there. See if we get the last little piece here. All right. Digging in here. Oh no, Ed. <laughs> Not, this is worse than the elbow. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> is it, does it feel worse the elbow? Uh, it doesn't feel. It feels good. Okay, it's but it, it, I can feel the mm -hmm. the whatever that is getting stuck underneath it. <laughs> oh lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just trying to work that out. 
this really just saved my hand. Mm -hmm. you know, otherwise, it, yeah, the elbow just, yeah, it works just. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot. <laughs> I think I found your problem. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of tension there. <laughs> Bring it back face down for me. Okay. Right, we need glasses off again. Okay, of course. Let me take this. Back face down. I'm gonna adjust you a little bit. Let's see if we can get a little more out of there. That's fine. You're perfect. You got it. Okay, I got you, brother. Here we go. Let it go. I got you. Yep. There you go. A little exhales. Yeah, a little bit. Uh-huh. 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 A little bit. There we go. Uh-huh. Next one. A uh -huh. couple more. Call it coercion. <laughs> Everybody's got to come with me. Come with, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> they all got to leave. It's not safe here. You have to leave. Get to the chopper. Don't say it. Get, 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 to, the get to the chopper. Mm-hmm. The always a chopper you gotta get to. You chopper? Helicopter? <laughs> the ch get to the chopper. The <laughs> tickles. <laughs> 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 Yeah, put your back into it, Ed. <laughs> that one is a buzz bop. Oh! <laughs> a little more power, Ed. Football. Jeez. <laughs> and his toe. Pull! <laughs> put that back on for you. I know, right? It's too much. There we go. Mm. You got it? <laughs> no, I can't. A little bit, yep. Yeah. <laughs> Tough joints. And make sure that we can still walk <laughs> before he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? He's <laughs> trying. <laughs> Flexible, and then we 
start putting you back into the curve. Remember how I said earlier the head was forward? Mm -hmm. we, have to do, we have to address that by two ways. One, we adjust and try to compress the joints, but at some point you'll only be able to get it so far back. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because this has to be pushed in. Does that make okay. sense? So that's what we're going to do in a second. We're going to take some pressure on a roller and we're going to start pushing that in and then that will allow the head to come back and then we can also restore that curve to your neck. Bring your arms up if you can. I'll do that. Yep. And just try to relax. Oh, See yeah, if you can. that's good. Yeah, we got to try to stretch. This is what I was saying earlier about the two, two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring your shoulder back and we're going to push the chest in at the same time. And you stay here for about a minute and then what you'll do is you're going to roll upwards. You push it. Yeah, makes sense. One inch. Oh, yeah. Yep, I know. <laughs> what kind of chair? Are you just sitting in a regular chair at work at home? I have one of those... Uh, because when I started having that neck pain, I bought one of the ones that you can like kneel on. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it keeps the it's an, yeah. it, it keeps this angle. It's about keeping this angle one. Yeah. Feet. That's good. Um, there's the I like the you know the simple <coughs> way is, is like a a low back chair. Just yeah, I do that too when you know, I when I start to, feeling. You know, you try to sit and try to arch. Yeah. I like the ones that are swivel chairs, not exactly this chair. You can't really do it as well. But the idea is the same that you're. You know, you're sitting backwards on the chair, mm -hmm. and you're keeping some arch. It's no, just, it's just death. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I just, when I watch TV, I kind of like cross my feet, and then what? So that's not good. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not yeah. You're not going to make it. So we want to have a balance. It's not that to always sit with something behind your back, but interweaving yeah. that in your life okay. will bring you a lot of benefit. Notice that the the, the chin, the chest angle. So you always want to be aware of this. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Not when we're on our phone. You understand? Yeah. The tucking no, of the, it's really about the tucking of the chin. And people do this all the time. See, I can look straight forward with my chin up. Watch this. Watch. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking straight forward. My wife tells me, put your head up. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not walking like around with your chin down. <clears throat> you need to work, work on keeping your shoulders back, keeping your eyes and head straight forward. Not This will do it too. Mm -hmm. You're saying it'll keep that constant stress on your lower neck and at its back. Along yeah. the, you know, so yeah, getting the chest back. in, so we call it couple of motion. We gotta get the chest in, get the head back, and that will permanently take the stress off your lower neck and, and deal with that symptom. Okay. All right, very good. Awesome, man. Hey, great. Thanks great. for coming in. I appreciate it. <laughs> appreciate it.